All kids make mistakes, and this much is true. Perhaps in my youth I made more than a few. The teachers said quiet, a little bit shy, but us quiet ones are trouble, and I'll tell you why. Being the youngest child of, in my case, three, my parents didn't always keep their eyes on me. And by the third child, most folks will change to a parenting style they now call free range. One day, I was home alone with my brother. No sign of our dad, no sign of our mother. Bored and looking for some kind of thrill, we were left home alone with some time to kill. For some unknown reason, outside our front door was a box of tomatoes just laying on the floor. These cherry tomatoes, though pretty great for eating, had much better uses, we thought, for completing. We weren't terrible kids, I want you to know, but cherry tomatoes are so good to throw. If my memory's correct, my brother went first. His tomato flew fast, hit a tree, then it burst. I thought to myself, wicked, so I chucked one as well. It sailed through the air as I called out, farewell. Throwing at trees is good fun for a while, we can do better, said my brother with a smile. We need a new target to test out our aim. I wasn't sure I liked the sound of this game. My brother was not someone I'd ever overrule, even when he suggested the neighbour's swimming pool. We were young and this fun made to us perfect sense. Launching mini tomatoes over our neighbour's fence, we'd throw, we'd wait, for the possible plop, then cheer, success, and we just couldn't stop. We continued firing those tomato grenades, but like anything fun, soon the novelty fades, which coincided at this point, we alarmingly found, with a once heavy box now empty on the ground. This could be bad, said my brother, looking glum. We then heard a car, uh-oh, sounds like mum. Like any kid sensing danger, we disappeared quickly. To be honest, my guts felt a little bit sickly. Later confident, we thought we'd pulled off the best crime. Looking back, it was only a matter of time. Mum's tomatoes were gone, and she was no fool. Mum then happened to glance at the neighbour's pool. We knew it was coming by the look in her eyes. This was no time for denial or telling of lies. We owned it, we kinda knew it was wrong. Tomatoes in a pool? It's not where they belong. We were made to apologise to our neighbours that day and collect up the bombs that we had thrown away. I do think of life as runaway felons if instead of tomato we'd thrown watermelons. <laughs>